What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here and in this video we're gonna be checking out the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G. So let's get started. Now this phone was recently launched and I did buy it on eBay. At the moment it is only being offered internationally so this device is not officially available at any of the carriers. However, I personally do plan on using it with Mint Mobile. Now it is possible that in the future, the A22 5G might end up being offered at carriers officially, and hopefully they end up offering it in carrier stores as well. But at the time that I'm recording this video, I have not heard any rumors that would suggest that. Now before I show you a variety of different things about the phone, let's take a closer look and see what all comes included here in the box. So you can see right here, A22 5G, there's a picture of the phone up front there. It is also being offered in a variety of different colors. I'm personally a big fan of this color, but I definitely recommend checking out all the other options available too. Now in the box, the first item that we do get is this packet. So we'll open that up really quick and see what all we get included here. But it looks like we just get some literature. In fact, just one booklet here. So we do get a quick start guide. We also have an international wall adapter. So this will not work in North America, which is where I'm located, but I've got plenty of these already that do work. We also have a USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. And finally, we do have a SIM card removal tool. Now with the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G, we're getting a large 6.6 inch display. The display itself features TFT technology, and it's actually 90 Hertz, which is a pretty awesome surprise to see here. Now the display is 1080p, we're getting a PPI of 399. We're getting a 20 by nine aspect ratio. So a more narrow but taller form factor here with the phone. And we're getting an 82.3% screen to body ratio. Now up top here, you probably noticed already, but we do have a water drop notch for the front facing camera. And that front camera is eight megapixels. Now stay tuned for my full review of the phone here on the channel to see a variety of different photo and video samples from the device. Now the Galaxy A22 5G is offered in a variety of different storage configurations. Now this particular configuration does feature 128 gigabytes of internal storage, which is really impressive. In addition to that, this phone also supports micro SD card expansion. I will say though, I am really glad though that we are getting so much storage internally here with the phone. Of course, it's always nice to be able to add a micro SD card, but nothing's better than just having regular built-in internal storage. Now with the A22 5G, there is no wireless charging, but we do have a fingerprint sensor mounted on the side of the phone where the power button is. So let's try that out right now. Very quick. We'll try that out one more time. Awesome, so very fast there. Now I actually prefer having this placement compared to having the fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone for multiple reasons. The first reason is because I think it just gives the phone kind of a cleaner look here. And the second reason is that I naturally put my thumb where the fingerprint sensor is anyway because I have to tap on that button to turn on the display. So having the fingerprint sensor double as the power button as well, I think is really a smart decision here and really gives this phone a nice, practical, usable design. Now, in addition to having the fingerprint sensor, this phone also features facial recognition. So I do appreciate that there are multiple methods for getting into the phone. Now taking a look at the camera module on the back, we do have a triple camera setup here. So we're getting a 48 megapixel main camera, a five megapixel ultra wide angle camera that can take images at up to 115 degrees, and we're getting a two megapixel depth sensing camera for portrait mode. So this phone does support portrait mode for both the rear and front cameras, which is something that I really do appreciate because I do like taking pictures on occasion to get those nice blurred out backgrounds. Now here's how things look on the camera app on the device. This is with the main camera right now. Then from here, we can switch over to the ultra wide angle camera, which does allow us to fit a lot more content into the frame. Then we can go over to portrait to get portrait mode. So again, this does work with both the rear and front cameras on the device, which is really nice. We can also swipe over to the more tab right here. And we do have some other options as well. So there's food, panorama, pro, hyperlapse, night, and slow motion. Now one interesting thing that I did notice here with the phone, and it's not necessarily a huge deal, but when you go over to the video recording resolutions, we do have, of course, 1080p video recording, 
at 30 FPS, which is great, and that is for both the front and rear cameras, so we at least get 1080p for the front and rear, but also when you're on the rear camera and you go to toggle the resolution, we don't get 4K video with this phone, but we actually get 2K video. So let me tap on that again, there we go, 2K at 30 FPS. So that's kind of interesting, I suppose that's better than not offering 2K or 4K, but this is the first time where I've seen a phone not have 4K video recording resolution, but have 2K. So that is pretty unique, but at the same time, of course, I wouldn't call it a deal breaker. Now with the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G, at least with this particular configuration, we're getting six gigabytes of RAM in the MediaTek Dimensity 700 5G processor. So a pretty decent amount of RAM there. And then also the Dimensity 700 5G is a pretty powerful processor as well. Now I did run a Geekbench 5 benchmark test here with the phone, and I'll show you the scores in that test right now. But essentially for the single core score, I got 561. And for the multi-core score, I got 1726. So what I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone and then compare your scores to these scores to get a better idea of how the Galaxy A22 5G compares to your current device. But like I said, based on my experiences so far with the phone, it runs nice and smoothly, especially with that 90Hz refresh rate. It is very noticeable in a good way. And in general, I would say this phone is a solid mid-ranger when it comes to performance. And that's pretty interesting because you really couldn't say the same thing about the A21, A21S, or even the A20. Now with this device, we're getting a very large 5,000 milliamp hour internal battery, and the phone does support 15 watt fast charging. So that's pretty decent. I would have preferred to see 25 watt fast charging, but 15 is definitely better than it could be. And as far as the software goes, we are getting Android 11 here with the phone. Samsung has pledged to provide two major software updates for the phone, which means that it will be getting Android 12 and Android 13. And in addition to that, they've pledged to provide security patches for even longer than that. Now this might be different based on which configuration of the phone you buy and maybe what region you're in, but this device does not feature NFC, which is disappointing. So if you are someone that does like to use Samsung Pay, for example, then at least with this particular configuration of the A22 5G, you won't be getting that. But let's now take a closer look at the hardware of the phone. So I already talked quite a bit about the front panel here. In general, TFT display technology is nowhere near as good as AMOLED, but at the same time, I do appreciate that it is 1080p and also that it is 90 hertz. So maybe as far as the actual colors of the display go, it isn't as good as AMOLED, but at the same time, I appreciate that the resolution is really good, everything is nice and crisp and clear here, and then again, getting 90 hertz for the refresh rate does give you a very smooth, refined, and high quality experience. Now we do of course have that water drop notch up top here, and a little bit of a thicker bottom bezel, but in general, I think this phone does have a pretty practical design. Now taking a look at the left side of the phone, we have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card, and by the way, this phone is made completely out of plastic, minus the display, of course, which is glass. Then on the right side of the phone, we have the fingerprint sensor, volume down and volume up. Then up top here, we have the noise canceling microphone. And then on the bottom of the phone, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, microphone, USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and we have the speaker. And then taking a look at the back of the phone, we have the camera module, which includes the flash, and we have the Samsung logo. So definitely more of a minimalist design here in the back of the phone, but I do appreciate that we have a matte finish, which I think looks really good, and I appreciate that it doesn't pick up any fingerprints. But this is the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions video of the phone, and in general, I think this is a really exciting device from Samsung. In fact, I wish that with the A32 and A32 5G, we got a design more similar to this, because honestly, this phone feels like better quality. But again, I'm looking forward to creating way more content about this phone here in the channel, so definitely let me know what you'd like to see. But this is Kevin, this is the Samsung Galaxy A22 5G, and I will see you in the next video.